Yo, what's up, YouTube? This video is going to be one of the craziest duels. It's like one of the craziest OTKs I've ever done in my life. And not just for Pendulum players, but Master Duel players, you gotta watch this. Customization. Genius. This is my opinion, the craziest OTK I've ever done. And this, this duel is just unreal from the beginning to end. So I want you guys to see my hand. My hand's very good versus monster hand traps like if they have ash if they have jewel maxi whatever i could stop it via called by and jackal well this is very bad against now watch this whole video. this is nuts like one more thing i want to mention as well before we show this nuts combo guys if you love master duel let me know in the comments because i stream i'm gonna be streaming a lot so if you guys want to see these amazing replays let me know and i'm sure you guys could learn from it as well look at this now i have souls i'm very good versus monster hand traps so i'm like yo let me just souls away my call by a widow because in pendulum one card one what if i drew into desires servant abductor mastery electrum get abductor to resolve get servant to resolve so i know that the value is incredible for pendulum for every single card i draw i'm okay to discard my call by knowing i have a jackal so i use this to discard this uh, valor negate ash negate the Emperor. So luckily, yes, I do play Sky Striker. I'll show you guys the deck list later. One Hornet equals a Spellcaster because a Hornet I can take Hornet into Kagari, into Token, into a Dark on its own. This is a genius one here. You guys ready? And now I'm okay with that because I still have Jackal to protect this play, right? I go into Dark with the Sky Strikers, Souls into Crowley. I didn't waste my normal summon. Crowley search. I'm going to be able to draw two and Jackal will negate any Ash or Valor or whatever or Nibiru that he has. But he has a double imper. This is where the crazy duel is going to start. Our backs are against the wall. In this scenario, we could search for follow-up with Electrum or Beyond the Pendulum, but there's a way to get three great interruptions. You guys saw the big brain play. Souls did not send Mighty Master. Souls sent specifically Reflection because I knew that the bare minimum, we're going to have Reflection and Jackal. So now I'm going to go Selene, which will have exactly four counters calculated. Selene will now special Reflection. Now, Reflection on the opponent's turn. I can't use Selene on this turn because I'll lose counters. I don't have many spells. But Jackal and Selene is five counters. On his turn, when he summons a problem monster, I'll do it as soon as I can. I'm going to summon Reflection to bounce it back to his hand and bounce Reflect uh, Selene back to my hand. Uh, putting And then I'll have enough to stop him. And Reflection could bounce Selene, but Mighty Master cannot bounce Selene. That makes don't, don't forget that you could do it with reflection, but you cannot do it with Money Master. Money Master specifically needs it to go back to the hand. What are we gonna do here? He goes desires. Lucky guy. He has everything, dude. But you know what? This is Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't want to complain. So we're gonna continue going as five cards. And any deck that plays a bunch of hand traps and cards like desires is a control deck. So we're in the we're in the the driver's seat right now because reflection and jackal are great risk control decks what happened he's playing marincess where marincess is very similar to purely where it's like you can play 18 hand traps and just a bunch of few one card combos so instantly once he summoned marincess butang this is the next big brain play for reflection he does not use marincess butang effect because he's a good player he knows that if i jackal in the gate and destroy he has no marincess cards on field any marincess players watching if you have no Marincis cards in the field, no Marincis monsters, you cannot link one, you cannot play. He doesn't use the effect. That tells me he has no follow, no extender in hand to put a Marincis monster. No way to put a Marincis monster in the field other than the normal summon. That is reason enough for me to reflection on the spot. That's all you need to do. He chains Maxi. I know he doesn't have another answer because if he had, if he had another way to like summon a card, he might have activated Marincis Blue Tang's effect. So that's reason enough for me to actually even negate the Maxi just so he doesn't draw the extender. Because I know once this card's bounced to his hand, he's passing. Then I go Reflection Effect. Reflection, bounce this. And I knew this as well because uh, Reflection and Jackal staying on board doesn't give me too much. Uh, because Electrum needs another card to pop. And it's not guaranteed scales. So I actually wanted to keep Selene on field to get Jackal back to my hand. Because Jackal's a scale. It's a bad scale. It's scale 4. But I purposely do that so I get Mount Jackal back. I know he's passing. And now I just need to draw any scale and I win. Any scale, that's it. And what do I draw? Nothing. So in this game state, this is where probably the craziest duel ever happened. Not Twitch chat watching this, because you guys already know. Do you guys see an OTK here? I have only five spells in total. So four in my grave and one in my opponent, only five spells. Do you guys see an OTK? Twitch chat already saw us. He can't explain it. This is an OTK. This is an OTK. Can't make Electrum. Look, call by just does nothing. If you tribute Jackal, what are you gonna do? You can't do anything. Electrum does nothing. We already use Crowley. I'll show you guys the OTK here. This is an incredible, absolute masterclass. If there was no lack of spell counters, if there was like 15 spells, this is just easy as hell. But look at this. And you go to Beyond the Pendulum right away. Now, what's Beyond the Pendulum do? It gets me Mighty Master. Cool. But guess what? I actually like, I'm only summoning Reflection. That goes a very weird scale. All right. Cool. But guess what? Beyond and Reflection makes Selene. All right. All right. All right. So now I know what you're thinking. All right, yo, trip. Yeah, that's easy. OTK. You Selene, you Mighty Master, Pop Jackal, and you summon a card with Selene. You don't have spells. If you look at the spell counter, you guys look closely. One, two, three, four, five. With the two scales, there's seven spells. 
So if my if seven spells, if Celine special souls right now, that's only four spells in field. What am I gonna do? Apple is a pass? No, I lose. Am I gonna go access code attack 53? No, that, I lose. I do a next level play. This is next level big brain. And if you guys are amazed at this play, you gotta smash the like button right now. I don't use Celine effect the special. I get the seven counters on. I set called by the grave. So I could use Mighty Master to blow up my entire board. This is like fairy tale snowing your whole board. You, it's 8,000 while you have 8,000 life points. I use Mighty Master to destroy Jackal and destroy called by the grave. This is like, this is like Kaiba tributing Obelisk the Tormentor for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Jackal is Obelisk. He literally looks like Obelisk and Mighty Master is Blue Eyes. But I also pop called by. Why? Because... That gave me two counters. That gave me two counters. Celine, remove one counter from itself, remove two counters from Master. Exactly enough for souls. Summon Axis Code Talker. Sometimes you gotta take risks to win. 5,300. And every pendulum player knows. Axis Code Talker plus Mighty Master is 8,100. Now, to show you guys the updated deck list of this master class. This is the updated deck list switched specifically to deal with purely because purely will be the main focus of this meta do i think purely is really good right now no i think purely overall is a great deck it's a good deck for sure for sure but until they get baby noir there's too many issues with it going first and it goes first the board is shit i'm pretty sure you actually have to play purely blind second in master duel until baby noir comes out in the meantime we switched our deck to destroy that why people are playing droll a lot of people are playing droll but we have to put called by in the main we removed econ despite econ being an amazing card and look sometimes you'll brick with called by sometimes you'll brick with econ look e called by was one of the called by bricked us game one and game two sorry turn one and turn turn two do you guys remember that duel i just showed it literally stopped it, it literally stopped it literally stopped us playing both turns. But you need it to stop Droll. Because Droll will stop you every turn. So that's why we put Called in. And we put in Underworld Goddess because it's royal, just like you. We removed Astrograph and Magister because they literally brick. They brick. They're not good. Don't play them. And we made it as consistent as possible. Be careful with Desires. You only play Mighty Master as your high scale. You're only playing two Selene, which I'm pretty sure we have to put three Selene in. We play Zeus. For the most in I have the most insane replay to show you guys in a later video. Maybe it's already on. We play Zeus because you play five steel cards, two talents, two engage, and widow anchor. That's five steel cards. But at the same time, the only ones that brick out of them is just widow because called by like talents and engage draw. Engage always draws. Look at that. You're playing infinity spells. Engage says draw one. Search for a card that steals your card. Your opponent. What a what a card. So you play Zeus because of those five. We're never going into it with absolute. Making Zeus because what's the most two play Dexas format? Purely Yashtira. Thank you for the sh your Shangru uh, La. It's mine. Thank you for your purely XYZ. It's mine. I'm just gonna stack a very fat Zeus on top. I'm convinced you need three Selene though, so you might want to remove Mascarina for the third Selene. Maybe even removing Apollosa for the third Selene. The third Selene does come up. If you ever do cross sheep combos, if you do a, a cross sheep combos come up quite often. You can't do a third Selene. Like if you play cross sheep, you need three Selene. Cross sheep does come up with very cool vortex plays. Might remove it though because cross sheep. If you go into cross sheep, that means you're always using your second Selene, and you need a Selene for a follow up because the best follow up is just knowing you have a Selene in your deck, in your extra deck, and a mighty master. Because as you guys saw in that one, what happened when you make Selene? Look, you can even do a dark. You could literally imagine a simplified game state. You only have Mighty Master in hand. And you only have like a Widow Anchor in hand or some shit. And like a shit card, like a Curtain Razor. You have no play. You already use Electrum. You use, you use, your scales are gone. You can't pen. You already use Electrum and Beyond, whatever. Take their card. You summon Curtain Razor. You go Dark Charmer. Dark Charmer. Special any dark from the grave, which purely has infinity. Then you make Selene. And then because Selene can hold counters, that Mighty Master is no longer a brick now. That Mighty Master is remarkable. Blow up your opponent's entire board for the first time with Mighty Master. And then Selene special something from Grave. Make access code. That's 8100. And then access code pop everything that's missing. Dark, Electrum, Kagari, Selene. You always have three pops with access because you have Kagari, Electrum. So Electrum's always there or Kagari, always. One fire. Dark is always there. Always. Whether it's Dark Charmer, whether it's Crowley or Beyond the Pendulum, then Light is always there because it's Selene. That's the deck. If you guys like it, absolutely incredible OTK. One of my favorites in a long time. What a deck. Brings a tear to my opponent's eyes because they know they're going to lose. If you guys love this video, make sure to drop a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see more Master Duel videos. We have a bunch of these cool replays that I would love to share with you guys. They just sit there. It's a shame not to post them on YouTube. Uh, so I want to do half TCG, half Master Duel. So let me go. No, you guys want to see these. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.